Gamers and game match, what is going on? My name is Tanuk127 and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Terra Console. But before we do, I'm going to go ahead as my usual and throw in my shameless plugins. If you're not, make sure you're following me on Mixer.com slash Tanuk127. I am on the cusp of 400 followers and I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 500 followers. And not to mention, if you love my content, you'll love my stream. So what are you doing? Go ahead and get your ass right on over there. Mixer.com slash Tanek127. And if you're not, make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram at Tanek127. Make sure you are liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go ahead and get right on into the good old goodness. So first and foremost, guys, before um, I get to discussing what I want to discuss, I'm currently using a new microphone. So let me know how you guys feel about the audio quality. Is my voice too loud? Is it a little bit too low? Is it too scratchy? Is it this? Is it that? It's a really pretty good studio quality um quality microphone, brand new Blue Yeti. So um let me know how you guys are feeling about the audio if it needs any tuning, and I'll be sure to adjust that in the next video. But I'm kind of using this one as a trial run, so please bear with me if it's a little bit too loud or too low. But um anyway, sorry for the long long intro. But what I want to talk about today is Terra Console, and the reason I want to discuss Terra Console is because. I'm going to give you guys my honest and raw opinion. Terra Console's in a hell of a lot of trouble, especially with the storm of MMOs that is brewing, and not to mention the next generation is around the corner, and Terra is in no way, shape, or form prepared for it. Yes, there is a good chance that um, Xbox Series X, and if the PlayStation 5 is backwards compatible, that you know they'll make Terra run a little bit better, kind of like the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X do. But still, that's... No real solid preparation. You can ask any Xbox One X player or any PS4 Pro player. It doesn't make a serious difference when it comes to Terra Console. Your Velika is just a little bit less framing. That's a that's about it. That's really the only the only difference. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I think Terra is in a lot of trouble. And there's a few um, points and factors here that I want to bring up. You know, just to discuss. And a lot of things that have been going on. You know, Indian mass community and stuff like that. That I want to. That I want to talk about. Now, first and foremost, I mean no ill will towards InMass or Blue Hole. As you guys know, I'm an InMass partner. I've been one for two years now. And um, I honestly, you know, I like being I like being around these guys. But there are, there are just things, you know, I don't agree with. And I'm going to speak my mind about them. Y'all know how things work on this channel. Sponsored content or not, partnership or not, you guys are always going to get my honesty. And anyone who has an issue with that, I, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway... Um, so first and foremost, um, if you guys haven't heard, um, Cobalt Dragon, who was actually um, a an employee at Enmas, has been has unfortunately left the company. Now I'm not going to talk too much about this subject because you know I don't know the whole story about it. But what I'm going to tell you all is this: he was the backbone of the Terra Console community. He was our main lifeline, pipeline, whatever you want to call it to the developers, Blue Hole Studios, when it came to Terra Console. This was the man, you know, um, making our back-to-back -back, back events and stuff like that, and setting up cool things, you know, for Terra Console, letting the developers know what we want and stuff like that, and he is no longer a part of this company. Now, if you want more insight on this situation, be sure to go um, check out my boy Sarah Monin's channel. I'm actually going to go ahead and link his channel and... Um, Links to the videos where he talks a bit more about this scenario in his own words down in the description below. I actually do plan on having a, a um, video or even bringing him on a podcast episode eventually to discuss his um, his feelings on this situation in a bit more detail. So be on the lookout in the future for that. But um, yeah, like I said guys, I'll have some videos of his link down in the description below and his channel. So you guys can check that out and get some insight. And make sure you know you show him some love. Tell him to Neck127Gaming sent you over there. But um... Yeah, the fact that Cobalt Dragon is no longer with Enmas, I'm going to tell you guys how bad that actually is being an Enmas partner and somebody who's been on the inside for a bit. That scares the living shit out of me when it comes to when it comes to Terra Console. Plain, pure, simple. That worries the hell out of me because as you guys know, Terra Console, it's been very far behind in content. It's no there's no secret. We don't have Awakenings yet. We don't have Apex yet. We just now got Propori Brawler. The console version of Terra doesn't have anything. And I know that there are people occasionally who throw, you know, the excuse of, well, Terra console is, you know, a, a different thing to Neck, you know, so it's it's supposed to be its own game. So, you know, you're just hating and... <laughs> cut, cut it out. Listen, listen, listen. I get that, you know, games do that sometimes, you know, especially with mobile ports and 
and things like that. You know, they'll make the versions uh, a little bit different. But let, let me tell you all something. Terra Console is Terra Online. Terra PC is Terra Online. They have the same storyline. Overall, they're going to get the same content. There's probably going to be a few exclusive dungeons and some differences here and there. But overall, they're generally going to be the same game in the end. I, 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 promise, I promise you that. But let me go ahead and tell you guys one of the big reasons that I think Terra Console is in trouble. Now, this is going to sound stupid to a lot of people, but I want you all to hear me out. Ready? Here it goes. Black Desert Online for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is about to have cross-play. Now, you're probably sitting there looking at this video, ready to smash the dislike button, look at me like, Tanek, what the hell is wrong with you? What does Black Desert have to do with anything? Yeah, sure, it's doing better than Terra, but what does that have to do? L let, me, let me reiterate that to you. Black Desert Online, the MMO that's based on PvP, you know, the one that has to worry about server balancing, a player-controlled market, and all that stuff. The ones with, you know, a ton to lose and risk by adding crossplay. They added crossplay to their game before Terra Console added crossplay. A PvP-based MMO added crossplay before Terra did. A PvP-based game. A game that has more risk involved in the crossplay department than this one. They did it before Terra. They did it before Neverwinter. They did it before Skyforge. Skyforge is kind of an exception because of how its content works, but eh, whatever. You got you guys get the picture of what I'm saying here. A lot of these games already have systems in place where they could have been worked out crossplay. For example, every game I name to you has an account that you have to use with the said company to even Run the game. For example, Skyforge requires a My.com account. Terror requires an Unmass account. Neverwinter requires an Arc account. And so on and so on and so on. So that's one of the little foundations you need for crossplay right there. But of all people, Black Desert, and mind you, the new the newest MMO to the ring, they just came out a year ago on both systems. The PlayStation 4 version hasn't even had its one year anniversary yet. And they're adding crossplay. In early March. I think it's like March 3rd or March 6th or something. And so many people are busy whining about this whole crossplay thing that they don't even realize how significant of a move it is for Black Desert. They're too busy, you know, whining about the balancing and stuff, which goes along more along with my point. The company with the most to lose by doing this were the first ones to make the ambitious moves. And that goes, you know, to say... To say a lot about, you know, some of these other other games and, and stuff like that. Why didn't Terra do this? Terra needs it the most. Terra is hurting in player count. Compare places like Velika and High Watch to when you first started playing Terra. You know, back in the early access days, the stress tests and all that. Compare those areas from then to how they look till now. You don't see 30 and 40 people standing around in High Watch anymore, do you? No, you probably haven't seen that for a, for a long time now. And... I haven't either. No matter if you're on the good old Super Soul PlayStation 4 or the shutting behind Xbox One. It's the same result on both games, I hate to tell you. And the best part about it is, Xbox One, their, um, their North American server even has more regions included in it because Xbox is against region lock. And they still don't even have tons of players on there. But I'm just saying, guys, you know, a lot of these things the developers need to consider. They need to open their eyes and look at ASAP. One other thing players have been banging for, you know, some optimization cleanups, some game game balances and updates, you know, things to help the game be more stable. They wouldn't go ahead and give Terra Console or Terra Online Unreal Engine 4, but guess what game they did go ahead and give to Unreal Engine 4? I'm going to go ahead and let y'all take a look. Here it is.
Yeah, you like that? Of course, as always, it's the mobile games that get the super treatment for, you know, the good old microtransaction money. Now, I get it. You know, companies are a business. You know, they need to survive. Mobile games supply that microtransaction money. But guess what? I guarantee you there are no plans for Unreal Engine 4 update for Terra Console. I guarantee you there's no plans to bring Terra Mobile to Nintendo Switch. The, some of these developers, especially in mass, especially Blue Hole, need to start thinking, looking around for the future. You have Fantasy Star Online 2 coming, a monster of an MMO, starting with Xbox exclusivity. I, Fantasy Star Online 2 speaks for itself. Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14 Online, they're making moves to come to the Xbox One, putting them on pretty much every platform. I don't even need to go into Final Fantasy 14. And a lot, a lot of these developers, you know, and they're little free-to-play games. Oh, man, we're just chilling, you know. We're going to keep tossing out our, our loot boxes and, and selling gems and stuff like that. You know, we're going to be fine. Don't you worry about it. Keep that mindset up, man. Keep, you know, keep up with the with the pay-to-win stuff and, and, and everything, you know, how things are going um, are gonna, to are gonna turn out. If you don't believe me, go ahead and take a good old look at Skyforge and see how they're doing. See what their queue times look like. I've warned those developers 10,000 times. They ain't listen. Hell, some of them even trying to make me out to look like a bad guy, even though I've said a billion times I love the game. But hey, you know, I could be just a crazy guy just yapping for no reason. But anyway, guys, let me know how y'all feel about this situation in the comments below. How do y'all feel about Terra Console right now in its current state? But anyway, I just want to give y'all some... um. Some insight, if y'all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.